Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. It's Disney Dwayne, and as you can see, we're going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, the series on Disney+. Plus. Now, this is after The Mandalorian and after The Book of Boba Fett, but this, unlike the other two, which are sort of spin-off Star Wars stories, focuses on the main some of the main characters, which to me, uh, well, Darth Vader is the main character. Without Darth Vader, everything else is, you know, uh, a byproduct, right? Um, that's my opinion. Of course, it doesn't have to be yours. Uh, I mean, The Mandalorian itself is really good as a story in itself, but we can easily get into this story because we all know it so well. It takes place after episode three uh, and before episode four. So it fills in a huge chunk of what happened there. Uh and after episode three is basically when, uh, it was, you know, Anakin in episode three, Anakin Skywalker sort of is the, becomes Darth Vader, right? It's his turning point. So this is very exciting to see as well. Um, we also get to see Leia and Luke as children, more so Leia so far up to, um, so far we've watched up to episode three. And that's what I'm reviewing right now. The first three episodes, we've got three more to go. Leia as a child is just amazing, so feisty, um, uh, but in a kid way. So really good scripting there. I think the actress is also just just so wise and so and so good. Um, can't wait to see more. We might get to see more of Luke. Who knows? We'll see. Also, we see ha- here how Obi Wan uh, Kenobi. It fills the question of what happened to him. Right? He is broken, of course, and has sort of given up. He's also hidden his. Um, uh, force powers. Uh, he's given up being a Jedi, but there are situations that that tempt him. Uh, you you see him watching over Luke and the foster father, that family, you know, uh, and them being in danger, and him him being tempted to sort of jump back into using the Force. There are other Jedi also uh, whom he meets. He asks to sort of bury his lightsaber, uh, and then there's Jimmy Smith's character, uh, the foster father of Leia who is asking him to rescue Leia. So he's, he's like being torn. He's been asked to, you know, to, 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 to do things that probably require him to go back to using the force. And does he? Well, I'm not going to give all uh, spoilers away, but just watch on and find out. So anyway, Obi-Wan's theme adapted from John Williams' work. The, the music, the scoring here is, uh, yes, uh, puts you right back in the, the original sort of, space because uh it really flows right logically also because it's it's done by john williams uh it sounds great uh belonging to the universe and all orchestrations are great and this feels familiar and uh, a natural of of you know natural progression of events from the third movie and i'm loving it so far Uh, you know it's always hard to to create stories where there are still unexpected twists and turns especially when you know what happens later on right in episode four and getting to see darth vader return also is um is exciting we want to see more of that relationship come out the the relationship between him and obi-wan and what's going on there uh i do have to say right at this point now though i'm slightly worried because it seems that um you know the story can go nowhere if they're not careful because certain things are just happening again and again you know like if somebody gets captured and then they rescue the person and then gets captured again and they rescue. I mean, it's not so fun anymore, even though it can be suspenseful. So we'll see where Obi-Wan Kenobi goes. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below, please. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and tell your, your friends about this channel. Till the next review, take care. Bye.